Metro. Well, the weather a bit brisk for all those Black, Black Friday shoppers. The phenomenon has been in full swing all day as bargain hunting shoppers took advantage of the deals being offered. Eyewitness News reporter Sheena Lashito has been right in the thick of it at Warwick Mall all day, and she joins us live. Sheena, what's it like there tonight? Well, as soon as the doors opened here at midnight, it looked like this. It's been a busy, busy day here at the Warwick Mall. Shoppers are now in full Christmas mode. We do the countdown on Facebook. Once today's over, we'll say, okay, 364 days left till next year. For these Black Friday veterans, it's a marathon, not a sprint, with the starting line in Connecticut, where stores can open on Thanksgiving. We miss all the lines. We go right into the store. We have a game plan. We know what we want. I've already looked at the flyers and mapped it out. We shop all night on Thursday, and then we go to my house, sleep, wake up, and come shopping in Rhode Island all day until about 8 p.m. We had to interview best friends Gina Prosser and Shannon Withy when we saw their matching customized shirts. Shop into our drop in Besties annual Black Friday shopping spree. They're mostly on the hunt for savings and gifts, finding moments to treasure along the way. We go to an ornament store in the mall every year. We get a traditional ornament for our tree, so we save that for Black Friday. It's something special for our memories. A Black Friday tradition some people will never give up, even when their spouse tries making a deal of their own. He goes, I'll, I'll give you $1,000 if you, we can just stay in bed. And I'm like, no. I was like, I'll save $1,000 today. In Massachusetts and Rhode Island, the stores open at midnight night. So whether it's staying up late or getting up early to shop, for some, it's always worth it. I've been dragging them out since like 1995. I had a friend that used to go with me and she petered out after like one or two stores and I whined to him and he's been coming with me ever since. Now, of course, these days, online shopping has been the popular choice for many, but shoppers we spoke to this Black Friday say nothing beats coming here in person year after year. Reporting live in Warwick tonight, I'm Sheena Lushuto, Eyewitness News.